Hello friends. So today we will be discussing about the skills required to be an RPA developer. So before we uh, go directly jump on to that, uh, uh, first understand let uh, first let's let us understand what RPA is. RPA is nothing but a robo robotic process automation, which is a process of creating software bots which help us automate some repetitive tasks without human intervention. So RP implementation works around a set of structured rules. So suppose there is a there is some business process uh, use case which needs to be automated. Let's say uh, you need to come in uh, daily and you need to uh, read some emails and uh, extract some data out of those emails and send the consolidated report. So this is the daily repetitive task. So this is a ideal candidate for an RP you can you can automate this process suppose you need to visit uh, you need to hit a certain website grab some data from them and upload it to some other system other CMS or any CRM tool so that kind of this this uh, is also a candidate for RP you can you can build a bot you can write your custom logic and according to that uh, that bot will execute that task for you and while carrying out those tasks which doesn't require a human much human intervention so you can be free uh, and focus on much uh, higher level work wherein human decisions are required so without wasting further any further time let's uh, jump on to the skills actual skills which are required to be an rpa developer so first you need to have an hands-on experience into rpa tools popular uh, some of the popular rpa tools are uh, like automation anywhere ui path blue prism uh, there are many more as well but these three are considered uh, into uh, as a top rpa tools some of them others are work fusion pega edge verb and many more so second is like you should have a uh, strong problem solving and analytical skills problem solving skills is re really necessary as they help you to uh, solve a particular uh, business problem uh, wherein you want to implement your rpa third one is uh, like you need to have an, a good interpersonal and communication skills so obviously friends uh, like communication skills is needed uh, in every uh, every field like I uh, more specifically into IT communication skills are must so fourth one is like good knowledge on different stages of RPA life cycle like RPA life cycle is in like uh, the same as uh, how you will approach the particular uh, business case like uh, what processes what task you will automate and wh what are your limitations with which process which tasks you cannot automate you need to define a, a boundaries regarding that so how your bot will uh, uh, be hosted how your bot will be uh, achieve scalability like there are a lot of lot of things which come come into this rp life cycle you need to be aware about that fifth one is uh it will be good if you have some exposure to sql databases like sql server oracle or M mysql uh, because uh that will that's where uh, you ho you will love many rpa tools have their uh, backend data being stored into one of these uh, databases so it will help you in troubleshooting and analyzing some of the functionality next is uh like you should be knowing about uh, the technical uh, specification documents for RPA projects. You need uh, you sh you should be knowing how we can design it. It's nothing but uh, like uh, BD we can call a business uh, BRD business requirement document, which we pick, prepare uh, at the time of requirement gathering. So it's something like that. And seventh uh, is uh, experience with analysis, design, and implementation of the process so in your previous experience uh, you might uh, you might be coming from the coding background you might be coming from uh, testing background uh, any any kind of background from the it industry so you should be uh, <coughs> having some exposure to design and implementation along with some kind of analysis being 
done regarding the uh, process so let's move on to the number eight so basic understanding of coding and some experience with coding skills in dotnet c sharp and vb script it it is not necessary not uh, needed as such but yeah it it would give you an upper hand if you have a uh, uh, experience with these uh, these uh, coding skills like dotnet and c sharp moreover if you are coming from a python background or java background any any programming language uh, any um, programming skills you have uh, it will also add uh, add to your advantage but you should basically have an idea about coding like how how the program uh, is written and what is the logical flow of the program so you should have that understanding basic programming knowledge is needed and the number nine the last one but not the least is a, a basic understanding of project management methodologies so like uh, whenever you are approaching any project uh, you're doing any work in the project uh, project management skills are needed uh, so like in development work we uh, we use some of the project management tools like jira you know, wherein we we define our tasks and we define the workflow of our task like how it will be moving uh, how the task will be created and how it will move into development from development to co or testing from testing to the staging so likewise the, the, there will be some workflow so in rb also like it will be helpful again it's not a mandatory one but it will be helpful if you uh, if you have a knowledge of project management methodologies that's all uh, for this video thank you hope you like the information um thanks